There's one, there's one. I'm Hannah Stipple and I've spent the last 10 years filming and photographing animals in the wild. But it's urban areas like this, like this, like this, that are now our fastest growing habitat on Earth. So now I'm on a mission to photograph some of my favourite urban species and find out why and how they're living alongside us. So it's about 6.30 in the morning. The reason I'm up this early is because I'm in this beautiful forest and I'm gonna be looking for one of the rarest mammals we have here in the UK, the red squirrel. This is the exact sort of habitat you'd expect to find them, but they can be pretty shy. This is a pine cone. Now, obviously, we're used to seeing the full pine cones, but as you can see, this one, all of the seeds have been eaten out, and that's because the red squirrels twizzle around these pine cones and nibble out all of the nuts. I've just heard some scuttling up in the trees. They've got their big claws, and as they're running around, it's quite a distinctive sound, and I just heard them. <gasps> There's one, there's one. Sort of in the middle of the big, big pine tree at the back. But I can see this bright orange bushy tail. Some seagull just is just hanging down on the pine tree right in front of me. So I managed to get a photograph of a red squirrel and needless to say, uh, it's, it's not my finest work and it certainly won't be going on Instagram, but this is the exact sort of habitat you'd expect to find red squirrels and they are really difficult to photograph, especially when they're way at the top of these pine trees feeding. But the actual reason I've come here is because I've heard not too far from this exact forest, there's a population of red squirrels living in the middle of a town. So I'm in Formby, a town close to Liverpool. And to be honest, this seems like a pretty strange place to be looking for the red squirrel. You know, one of our rarest mammals in the UK. When we think of red squirrels, we think of sweeping pine forests and the Scottish Highlands. Not here. I mean, I'm next to some post boxes. There's loads of traffic, hundreds of people around. I'm not quite sure where they're actually going to be, but I've had a tip off they are here. So hopefully I'm going to have a look around and see one. So I've gone a couple of hundred metres more down the road and I popped into the local vets because I saw these pine trees in the back garden. But look what I've just found. This is a freshly nibbled pine cone. So they're definitely here. I've been searching the town for two hours now and I've not laid eyes on a single urban squirrel. To find out more about where they might be hiding, I'm meeting up with Red Squirrel Officer Molly Frost. Hello. Hello. All right, how are you? Thank you. So Red Squirrels here in the UK, they, they're not doing very well, are they? Unfortunately not, no. Um, so we don't have very many red squirrels left here in the UK. Um, the figure that we go off is roughly about 140,000. There's a range of threats that uh, red squirrels have. The main one being the invasive non-native grey squirrel. So they were brought over here by the Victorians back in the 1800s. And since then, that population of grey squirrels has just boomed. Because I was reading that they, they carry a disease, squirrel pox. What actually happens to them when they become infected with squirrel pox? Squirrel pox is a virus that both the greys can have and the reds can have as well. But the greys hold on to the virus, but it doesn't affect them. However, they can then tra transmit that to the red squirrel population. And unfortunately, reds have no immunity to it. So in most cases of squirrel pox, a red squirrel will die and it will be pretty nasty as well. Particularly in Formby, we have seen a lot of cases of squirrel pox. So back in 2008 and 2009, there was a really big outbreak of squirrel pox. And unfortunately that resulted in an 80% decline of that population. So it can almost completely wipe out our population if it gets a foothold. 
I want to see the impact of squirrel pox firsthand. And the quickest way for Molly to do that is to show me the graphic reality. Right, I can honestly say I've never seen a, a frozen squirrel before, so I, I don't really know what to expect, Molly. Okay, um, like I said, it isn't particularly pleasant, um, but it does really highlight the issue with squirrel pox. Okay, all right, let's have a look at this one then. Oh, oh, poor thing. So you can just see kind of around the ears here, yeah. around that eye, and then this one's really, really bad. Um, so when it was alive, all of that would have been really inflamed. This has been the sad fate for a lot of red squirrel populations in the UK. But back in town, there are people determined to protect the squirrels that remain. I'm meeting up with local photographer Terry Donnelly, whose garden, it turns out, is one of the best places to see urban red squirrels in Formby. We moved to Formby in 2016. The following day when we moved in, we just spotted them there. Uh, just along the bottom of the garden and just jumping through the trees. We discovered we had red squirrels off visit the garden daily. We, we, we couldn't leave, so we stayed. And what is it that you love most about red squirrels? If I had to use one word with describe them perfectly, it's quirky. <laughs> Every single one has their own personality. Some are shy, some are a bit more bold, some like to show off. Um, and they're just fantastic characters to watch, they really are. And how does the overall community and your neighbours feel about having the red squirrels here? It's a concerted effort really, where everybody tries to pull together. We've got a lot of people who are doing absolutely what they can, just to try and stabilise the population. I mean, to, to try and stop the decline of the red squirrel, it's, um, it's a bit like fighting a, a forest fire with, with a water pistol. And one of the things what we do um, with, with, with our photography is that we try and raise um, public awareness um, about the plight of the red squirrel, because a lot of people don't realise just how close to extension they are in the UK. A, a picture's worth a thousand words. Terry's garden is set up with props for his photography, regularly cleaned to avoid spreading squirrel pox, and he offers to let me try my luck. By maintaining a safe habitat for red squirrels, dedicated people like Molly and Terry are creating an environment in Formby where this rare and declining mammal can shelter. And while their work continues, the future of the red squirrel here looks bright, and it gives me hope that maybe one day this could grow beyond Formby. Well, that was absolutely incredible. And after all of my searching, I didn't think I was gonna see an urban red squirrel of Formby, but thankfully, Terry's garden is pretty magical. And I did manage to get a shot that I'm really pleased with. And it is of a red squirrel pushing a shopping trolley. I mean, it doesn't get much more urban than that. And just to think that there's a population of one of our rarest mammals in the UK living here in the middle of a town just goes to show that wildlife can survive alongside us if we just give them the chance. <laughs>